everybody, welcome back to my KonMari series. Today I am taking on the kitchen. I've divided this category of the kitchen down to a f about three different sections. So today I am taking on storage containers, dishes, and serving bowls and things like that. So, oh, and my utensils and, and cooking utensils. So is that very clear? That's not very clear. Let me try again. Dishes and serving items and utensils and storage items and cooking utensils. That's what I'll be going through and tidying. I will keep the items that spark joy or that I find the most useful and I will discard the rest or repurpose them. So I'm excited about this category. This is one I've been wanting to get to and it is what really motivated me with this journey with the KonMari method. My clothes, and my kitchen were the two areas that I just really wanted to get under control. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. This is the drawer for our cooking utensils. And I will probably go ahead and go through my uh, measuring cups and measuring spoons because they're in this drawer. But yeah, this divider doesn't work great because as you can tell, it's completely overflowing and there's things in here that should be in different places but you know I have help and I'm glad I have help doing the kitchen work and so sometimes it doesn't go to the exact place that I have specified but it is put away so that is our cooking utensil drawer all right here are some containers that I keep on the counter with more cooking utensils Ideally, I'd like to have one large one that has everything, but this one I like, but it just doesn't fit everything. And then this one is chipped, and it doesn't fit everything, so we use them both, and that's the way it works right now. But that is the cooking utensils. This is the utensil drawer with our serving uh, utensils there towards the back and then there's just random stuff on the right side I don't there's just this empty space and all kinds of things get dumped there this is where we put all of our lunch utensils that we take with us for our sack lunches and then our eating utensils are here in the front and that is I <laughs> that's gonna look a lot better when we're done I'm sure these are the things that I will be keeping as far as serving utensils and measuring items and those are the utensils we'll, we eat with and then we come into our lunch utensils I'm keeping I just kept enough for each member of the family to have one and somehow I'm only down to two spoons I know I had more than that but that happens through the school year so I just replenished at the goodwill so here's our serving spoons I'll be keeping and our soup spoons and then up there at the edge of the counter are the things that I that that large spoon is my mom's and then the other items should be stored in another place. So those are the items that I will be keeping and putting away. And then down here in the box are the items to be donated. Okay, we're starting on the dishes. I've taken them all out of the cupboards. So there's some vases, some glasses, pitchers, our china, our everyday dishes, serving platters in the back. Those are not used very often, so I'm really, I'm not sure yet what to, to do about those. I'm thinking about it. Here are the glassware. Here's some more holiday type plates, gravy boats, our everyday serving stuff, and another Christmas item. So this is before all the dishes. Here are the items that I will be giving away. And here are the items I'll be keeping. I did keep more of the Christmas stuff than I thought. I came up with some ideas on some ways that I can make use of them during the holidays, which will be good. And I did not get rid of really any of our everyday dishes. If anything, I feel like I need more like serving dishes. And so anyway, our everyday dishes sometimes get used for serving. And the china, the same thing. There's just some more pieces I need to add. And the vases and the pitchers. I mean, you saw the pile. There just wasn't much that I got rid of, but it feels good to go through and know exactly what I have and to get rid of those 
items that I have not been using and that do not spark joy for me anymore. This cupboard below the utensils has some pull out drawers and this is where we put our storage containers. So this is for our leftover containers where we put our leftover food and there's not much in here right now because we seem to have it all in the fridge. And then down here in the front is where we put our lunch prep things that we're going to take with us in our sack lunches. Those containers are here. And then uh, in the back is a place where I keep my larger bowls for salads and things. All right, I realized I was going that I have this cupboard above my fridge. See, my vitamins, my medicine are here. This bottom shelf. On the top, I have some storage containers. So I've got a three cake containers, this pie container, relish tray, another that I put like cinnamon rolls, cookies, and stuff in. These containers are part of my storage containers, and I need to go through those, so I'm going to pull those out as well. Here are the containers I will be getting rid of. And here are the containers I am keeping. So my fridge also has some, and my theory is if I'm using it, then I'm going to keep it. So I'll be keeping these items as well as the three cake um, containers that I have above the fridge. I didn't pull those out. I'm hoping through this process I can get to a place where I can display them and use them even more frequently because I really do enjoy them. They make me smile. That's my containers after I have tidied. Okay, everything is tidied and returned to the cupboard. So this is the top shelf of our dish cupboard. Here's our vases and then I put our extra one gallon pitcher up there. Down here are our everyday serving items here and then we make our way across to our china and then our everyday dishes are here. It's a little more crowded here because I moved the pitcher down here where it's a little more accessible and easier for the kids to use. Then moving down here there's my paper system. It's working so well. Here's our everyday utensils. There's still some empty space around it, so this may slide around a bit, but we're not organizing, just decluttering. So here are the utensils put back. I was able to get rid of one of these little dividey, divider containers. Okay, and then the cabinet underneath is where we store our plastic containers. So here's where our leftover containers go. I really don't have a lot of those. So a lot of them are in the fridge though. And then here's our lunch containers and our large salad bowls. Here's the container that holds my utensils right next to the stove where it's easy for me to grab. That's just the way I cook. And I, I cook every meal, so these get used a lot. It's nice to be able to grab them. I used to have two, now I'm down to one. I prefer that. Here's the cooking utensil drawer. In the back, you won't be able to see it well, but I've got my candy thermometer and the kebabs back there. We don't use those things very often, but they are accessible enough back there. Measuring cups and the rest of the cooking utensils I do not use very much, very often, I guess. And then the measuring spoons, pan scrapers, those sorts of things all there. It looks much better. Here's the cupboard above the fridge. My cake servers are there. Two storage containers here. I actually grabbed these two bowls. We use them more as serving bowls, especially during the summer. So I put them here so they're easily accessible for salads and fruit. And then our relish tray with the dip container. It's back there. We don't use it as frequently, but I really like having it for barbecues and things. So that is everything. Yay, I've just finished going through my first kitchen category and it took me about two hours and I feel some progress and some accomplishment with it and I'm looking forward to continuing that as I work my way through the kitchen. The next, I guess not the next category because I'm not sure, I have to look at my time and see what I can work in next week. I hope I can get a lot done. But one at a time, one thing at a time, and I work it in as best I can. So I need to tackle the food in my kitchen, which is a little bit scary to me. I have to remember, deep breath, 
It's okay, deep breath. There'll be my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer, and my baking cupboard, and my spices, and my mixes, and my cans, and that's a lot, but I can do it. And then the other group that I will be taking on will be the cooking items. So appliances, popcorn poppers, toasters, pans, casserole dishes. That should be a smaller thing to do. So anyway, I'm, I'm encouraged and I hope you guys are too. While I was tidying, I was watching a playlist that I created just and just a, everybody else's KonMari videos that they've done in their kitchen and it was encouraging to me to keep going that other people are trying to get control of their chaos too so i hope this was encouraging give me a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe so that we can continue the journey together